What's up, guys? I'm back with another episode of Gone Home, and on the Skype call, we still have uh, our all-star cast of, of Ashley Mack. Is Jesse still here? Yeah. I think so. Okay, Jesse, so he doesn't talk, but he's here. Uh, <laughs> uh, Jeff Robro and, uh, and Jordan, a.k.a. Air Jordan, a.k.a. Xanator TV. You mean BKA. BKA, what? Better, better known as. BKA. Oh, BKA. better known as, right? I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Uh what? <laughs> anyway, I'm in this. What room is this? This is the this TV is the room. TV room. Yeah. It's so funny. Like back then, back in the '90s, you couldn't get giant ass TVs like you can get today. Today, you can get like 70. They have TVs. fat asses no. though. TVs no, have yeah. fat no, asses. Projector yeah. screens. They had, you got those big screen TVs that it took like two or three people to move it, and you pick, you you pick a side of the house, and it stays on that side of the house. It's <laughs> so much work to it does not move. Side. Exactly. God help you if you drop it. And and you could always get one of those projection TVs, but the picture quality is really crap compared to yeah. the CRTs. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. The newer ones nowadays actually look good. The one, uh, but the old ones, you know, whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and then now, but like, if you wanted like good image quality, you would go with like this type of TV. But exactly. This, this is about as big as you could get because uh because like if you if you any bigger you couldn't lift it like even two people would have a hard time lifting it ashley and i moved a giant tv like this from her parents room down the stairs it took us like an hour so like, scars. yeah tvs back then were made of titanium <laughs> seriously they're really heavy and they're then like heavy as a bastard like any bigger than this you'd have to have like some sort of like tv stand that was made of metal or something to hold this and it would still warp it would bend it would be so yeah. heavy anyway but good image quality on these pretty good well relatively if they had like i like during the <laughs> during the peak during the peak of, of like when they were switching over to like lcds and stuff they started using component inputs and my friend uh michael had a uh had a one of these types of tvs with a component input and it was awesome because like it was like the best quality like it was super sharp it was when like lcds weren't that great yet but then, now they are but but back then they weren't that great anyway i'm gonna open this door it's playing gone home <laughs> It's a closet. Wow. It's a closet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a story. Can't wait. <laughs> Let me close the door. <laughs> oh, the heaven at the edge of the world. Samantha Greenbrier, grade two, story of the turtle people, part one. Hmm. Terrifying. Captain Allegra looked off at the ocean. It went on forever, or so it seemed. Someday she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! It was the black pirate ship. She yelled, I thought we'd lost him at, the, at Horse Island. The first mate said, Looks like you thought too soon. The black ship came up uh, the, along the side. Captain Black himself came out on the deck of the black ship. He yelled to Captain Allegra, you're never gonna find the edge. There ain't no paradise, and your fa father were a liar. Captain Allegra yelled back. Then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? The first mate yelled out. We'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world, and you'll see her father was no liar. The battle kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed towards the sunset. Okay, how old is this person that wrote this? That's beautiful. I don't know, but what do you think it means symbolically? I don't know, but they, this person, this kid knows the word imbecile and allegra, and doesn't know how to spell the word never. Yeah. Well, isn't allegra a medicine? Though. Isn't allegra a medicine? Yeah, it's allergy I medicine. Don't, I don't know. I was accused of plagiarism <laughs> because I knew the word dexterous in fifth grade. <laughs> yep. Yep. I knew that word because I watched a lot of... Because I played D&D. Uh, &D. Mm. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Mac, Mac, I, are you there? Yep. You said Zach a few times. I thought you were going to tell me to open the door. Was that what you were going to tell me? I don't remember anymore. You talked for too long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Mac. Okay. Well, we're done with the TV room. That's exciting. We left the cliffhanger last episode of the TV room. And uh, <laughs> now we're over here. Did I go in no. this room? Now what? the episode's in full swing. Did I go in this room? Yep. <laughs> yeah, you went in that room there. Oh, that was a closet, that. yeah. Did I go in here? I don't remember. Oh, Ooh. start. There's a light right there. Go in. <laughs> oh, it's the step. Zach, watch right behind you. But come on. <laughs> don't do that. What? Fans on. Why do they have so many telephone books? Why do they have a telephone book in every single room? Because they used to be important. <laughs> Whereas, <laughs> like, you, you would be in a room 
Well, they first they said they would drop them off on your porch every day for some reason. Not every day. <laughs> it was once a year. <laughs> then, then, then they would, uh, and then you would want to know, like you, like a lot of stuff back then was like done by phone. It was really weird, I know. But you would call someone and be like, "Hey, are you guys open?" And they'd be like, "Oh yeah, we're open these hours." Man, this is crazy. But I was alive in the nineties. <laughs> 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 phone books are like you're not teaching me anything to be honest they need to stop making phone books because there's one on my front porch right now from like three weeks ago and no one's touched it yeah you know you know go out there and touch it <laughs> or me. I, I don't need to go out there and you know jeff jeff O'Bro had a really interesting story that he told us between videos about the tv oh it was a good uh, one do you want to tell us uh, jeffro don't nope. even <laughs> what <laughs> Give us the cliff the notes version. Hey. Door, Zach, 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 open Zach, we open door. door. We got we gotta leave door. some we gotta leave some things for people to go to my channel, Jeff Pro Games. Oh that's true, that's true. <laughs> electrical inspection form Alright, let's see. Does the entire electrical system meet local codes? Yes. Are there any deficiencies uh, which need correcting? No. Um, if yes, describe why is unclear. Unclear. Wiring a house is technically up to safety and amperage requirements, however, multiple layers of wiring have been added into structure over the last 100 years. System is frequently unpredictable. Lights blink out for no clear reason. Pressure on floorboards and door frames disrupts circuit circuits wired directly behind the surface. Properly reworking the electrical system would be highly destructive to the walls, floor, and fixtures of the structure. After discussion with Mr. Greenbrier, since there are no current safety concerns, issues will not be addressed. Black Cat Electrical Company. Da -da -da. That means I, that they had flickering lights because of a ghost. One question. Oh, God. A hundred years that. ago, they were putting wiring in this house? <laughs> I guess so. I think over the course of a hundred years. Well, you know, oh, you know what? You know, you mentioned that, Jeffrey, bro, but I went to uh, San, uh, San, uh, San Jose, uh, where the Winchester House of Mystery was, and they had wiring uh, back when they were, they were powered by gas. It was really weird. They were powered by like, gas. Like, anyway... Yeah. yeah. Open the door. You know what door I'm talking about. Open it. <laughs> well, well, I gotta finish exploring this room. It's already open, Mac. Oh, wait. Open it. Oh, God. Sit back. Okay. There. All right. Um, let's Do it. Uh, hold on. Read crumpled pages. John Russell opened his eyes and saw them, the stars, twinkling as if he were lying on the grass in his family's yard in Massachusetts, even though that place was a million miles away. No, he blinked the sleep from his eyes looking through the carbon reinforced safety glass of the space station Archimedes. Yes, he, he was a long way from home, but the future needed him. John Her dad Russell's was a sci fi writer. <laughs> <laughs> John Russell's head swam. He felt incredibly drunk despite not having touched a drop in hours. <laughs> hours. <laughs> he vomited into his feet. What, under his feet. <laughs> what a fucking pussy. This guy hasn't drunk in hours. Look at his ass. <laughs> well, I just think it's funny, like, not days, like hours. It's been hours since he's drank anything. Uh, he vomited onto his feet, his bare feet. He stared for a moment. XXXXX process his sight. Uh, sick flecked toenails. Scanning up his bare. What? Scanning up his bare shins, bare knees. He was completely naked. He looked up and met the eyes of a gorgeous blonde woman wearing tight polymer fiber tunic. The fabric that sh strained at the seams to contain her generous bosom was emblazoned bosom. with the phrase matter transference operator. Th then he passed out. John Russell had crossed the gap. The gap in time. Only messages has, has passed before, but now a, a, a man, a, a man, man, this guy's a horrible writer, a man, <laughs> uh, maybe he's drinking too much. They needed him, now more than ever, changing the past <laughs> was no longer, what? <laughs> changing the past was no longer good enough. The instructions from the count, council had been clear, what to procure, what to construct from it, how to assemble it, so he made the machine how to transport him bodily across time. And now he stood there on the bridge of the starship, Archimedes, command of the vessel, because only he, who had saved the predecessor's life twice before, could help the naive crew to their destiny, the fate of the galaxy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Maybe like, we should stop reading everything. What? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Why are you laughing? That's a serious suggestion. <laughs> There's a cup. 
Sip it from your yeah. cup, don't run, run it glass, over. It oh, I fucking broke it! Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to say the F word. I broke it. <laughs> step on it, step on it. Put it back, I put it back. Yeah, it's all fine now. Wait, it's not broken anymore. Oh, oh good. Wait, did I not break ghost. it before? Ghost glass, ghost glass. Oh, wait, I didn't break it. It's just a graphics glitch. <laughs> I can't break it. Seriously, stop. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what if JFK wasn't JFK? <laughs> JFK president, USS plus USSR coalition, Chinese, Japanese, Lebanese. Whoa. Paradox results in JFK death being desired outcome. Okay. Yep. S magic He's a conspiracy theorist. Let's move on. <laughs> Hold on. I got to figure out the story. Early <laughs> space better. flight, Utopia. Advanced technology in World War Two early time stream too different. So he, I guess he does write alternate reality fiction, like I kind of guessed. Uh, state of emergency in Dallas cancels motorcade. Intercept. Oh wow. Wow. Okay. What's this all about? Ooh, there's another one. I was about to mention that, but I was like, oh no. no. Oh, this is that uh, laser disc compact disc player thing that we were talking about that he was had to he had to review. Uh, remote with backlight, double-sided play, headphone out, display on off, <laughs> jog shuttle tile, digital CLV slow motion Seriously, freeze frame. Seriously, Zach. <laughs> what? <laughs> we gotta read Sanity this. Is fading. They say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of specialization, but sureness of purpose and dedication to craft. If you happen to be in the market for a combination LD CD player, You'll be glad to know that Pioneer seems to share this particular... It's probably going to go on about desire. So, yes. Desire. Jesse, are you still here? Yeah. How are you, how are you enjoying this game so far? I've already seen... Or I've already... I know how this ends. Oh, darn it. But well, how do you think I'm doing so far? I'm very thorough. <laughs> <laughs> There's a three ring binder. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Zach, how many pages are in that three ring binder? It looks like two. Look at this. <laughs> like two thick pages. Are those just the dividers? Big it's paper. possible those are just dividers. Okay. Just saying. <laughs> uh oh. Wait. Uh oh. Uh oh, a drawer. <laughs> What's in here? I'm getting low frames per second right now. I don't understand why. I, get, I think the game was annoyed that you're looking at it. <laughs> I, think, I think even Fraps is like, hurry up, Zach, open the fucking door. Hold on. Oh, Whoa! Green, 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 I don't have the combination. Jesse, what's the combination? You said you played this before. I don't know the combination. What? I don't know the combination. Okay. Jesse seems really tired. Alright, guys, I gotta go find the combination. I don't know where it is, but I'll, if I find it. But you was through that fucking door. <laughs> Hold on, there's something here. No, there's somewhere in Rap the room, book. probably. The killing of JFK, a theory. You've seen the movie Discover the Truth. A superb work of speculation, plotted with amazing skill and showing a level of magnetic artistry not usually present in such academic pieces. A thrilling theory. I couldn't put this book down. An important new look at the circumstances surrounding one of the greatest tragedies of our time. It's only cost ten bucks. Why is it cover. greatest tragedies? <laughs> <laughs> one of the best tragedies of our time. Guys, this is the best tragedy ever. <laughs> Did you guys see this? I spun the chair by throwing it's the book into tragic. it. Super tragic. Rivals the Titanic, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh wait, wait, wait! Back up. What? what? Wait, turn around. Look at the drawer. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Oh yeah, let me close these. I forgot. There we go. Don't you want, don't want your open. video game wife Fucking on your ass? Doors. Okay, it's open. Door. It's open. Where are we? It. There you oh, go. This is Go Dad's. Oh, I'm going into Dad's office. Am I in Dad's office? Where am I now? Thank you. I'm in the library. In. Yeah, that'd be. That's not creepy looking at all. It isn't. I wonder I mean, it is. Me too. But I gotta have to read books that I don't read that many. Uh. Look at all the books. Let's count the books. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Is that a ghost? I mean, uh, no! Whoa, whoa where? <laughs> Just... Whoa, I grabbed a lid. <laughs> <laughs> whoa! Grab Dad's second book. 
the accidental pariah. <laughs> a message from our future saved the president's life once, but within the next 24 hours, there'll be another attempt, and the lines of communication are downed. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, this is like an alternative. Whoa. What's this? Gosh, Dad. Gentleman. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, the good stuff. Finally. <laughs> cold. Lady in the ring. Japan's right. bloody war on dolphins. The magazine for men. Why is there a, why oh. is there stuff about do Japan and dolphins? He's <laughs> in a fucking porn magazine. How many porns are under you? Oh, it's, oh, it's one big magazine. How many porns? <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, Dad. <laughs> Can I not pick this up and throw it? No. Okay, let me put his books back. Uh, not look through this. No second. Really? You don't, you don't yeah. have to put him back in. <laughs> you don't what? have to. What? You don't have like, to. You don't want dad finding out that you were looking at Yeah, it. I don't want dad to know I looked at his porn. How do you, how do you, why do you care you don't have a dad? Party. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a good time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, what's that over there? <laughs> Zach's not LPing his own LP anymore. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, there's the code. Oh, go on mute. Oh, maybe this is the code. Zero four five one. Four five one zero. All right, here we go. November first, nineteen ninety four. Dear Terrence, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut back to it. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non sequiturs from the usable copy. Non sequiturs. Yes, without heavy rewrites, non sequiturs. The readers of Home Theater Aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not <laughs> ruminations of your childhood. <laughs> <laughs> if it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter. I just, uh, it, I just, just fire your ass. be cutting you loose. There's a ton of guys half your age who could take half your rate to write stuff I could actually use, but David's known you for a long time and he's the boss, so. I'm giving you one more shot on his say so. Uh, you should write him a, a nice note thanking him for the patience and generosity. Look through the old your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again. Then everybody will be happy. Brent Kurtwood, reviews editor, Home Theater Aficionado Magazine. 0451. Okay. I'm going to go try I'm that combination. I'm piecing it together. I'm piecing it together. <laughs> this guy was a writer. Who failed at it, and then he started writing for this, you know, VCR or whatever company. He was doing good, and now he's starting to write and like talk about his childhood and stuff like that. And they don't want him to do that. No, I, I think you're right. Yeah, Z what was it? Zero four. No, five? Zero, you're, four, you five, know, one. you're thinking you're right. yeah. zero four four five one. Five. Where's the five? There it is. Five. Four. One. Yes! Yes! We did it, guys! <laughs> we won. <laughs> All right. Same game. When's the boss come out? That is cool. Um, There's a dinosaur. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what's, what's, cool. what's, inside. <laughs> <laughs> what's inside. I mean, for real, there's got to be something inside. Come on. Read document. Oh, there's a document. Okay, everyone. Dear Mr. Masson, please find and close your original document and a typed copy for your records. The notarized copy has been filed at our offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm this important matter so Masson oh, it's a will and testament oh my god oh, okay, oh let's, god let's read this will and testament I Oscar Masson possessing full competence of mind and memory and after full survey of valued items to my name do hereby declare this document my last will and testament the following shall hold true upon my passing I declare that I am a lifelong resident of Boone County that I am a un that I am unmarried and have no children I did, is he really? No children? Oscar Masson? Who is this? Is Oscar Masson? No, this is yeah, it's the, his uncle. Oh, uncle. Yeah, this, uncle. Yeah. Okay, okay. I declare that I have no outstanding debts to my name, to any creditors living or dead. I do hereby bequeath every item of value of which I may die possessed. Whoa, die possessed. 
Oh wait, oh wait, including the dwelling and surrounding air acres located at Arbor Hill, as well as any and all personal property and moneyed accounts to my nephew, Terrence L. Greenbrier Jr. of Ellis County. In the event that said Terrence L. Greenbrier Jr. so predecease me, then and in such event the bequest to him shall fall, and the same is bequeathed to his children as ordered by age and competence as stewards of the estate. I subscribe my name to this will, this 13th day of August, 1973. Um, so that's just uh, that's just the handwritten copy. Don't, please don't try and read that part. <laughs> well, I couldn't. I mean, it's like, it's all, look, look how, look at the, look how he writes. He was an sense. old guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pretty accurate to mine as well. <laughs> Basically, he left everything to yeah, his he, nephew and his family. Is there like a safe I, behind here? If no? you guys can tell by his handwriting, he did write the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's obvious. Okay. So this is a dead end. Let's else. go check okay. this. This I'll would be creepy. Yeah, this house is creepy. It's a mansion. Fresh. Readers, Ooh. tell us about their worst moments. 90210, does anybody still care? The male gaze, how to subvert it. Sarah Holtz, not gathering moss. True stories, I was a teenage drag queen. That's not not, not me saying that. Uh, oh, grab, can I, I wish I could write in this magazine. That's a, uh, it's a little, um, sound bite. True story. <laughs> uh -huh. Ooh, Someone the, take that sound bite. Ooh. Look at that, this is how he came up with the, uh, with the title. We should, uh, we should, we should go faster. Well, we're going pretty fast. We've only been, we've only played today's episode for 20 minutes. Yep. <laughs> that means we have 10 minutes left. We've only done, like, one room. No, we, we did closet, also. We're mostly just telling stories. <laughs> two rooms. We, two rooms in a closet. Okay, why don't we, why don't we go do another one? Okay, one more room, guys. Or three. You're here to hear first. One more room. Um... Um, you, you read to, that? Did you go to Did you go to the end of the um room? I'm at that last room. Which Which room? At the go end in of there. the I'm at end Why of are the, the hallway. lights on in there? No, not that one. No, I not turned them all one. on. I turned them all on. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, that one. That room out all the way. No, to the end. Go no, that's where he came from. Yeah, that's where I came from. Oh, mm -hmm. it's very hard to you keep turning around. I'm sorry. There's an eraser. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> Bunch of coupons. Save twenty five cents. Oh, Boy. Pots. Wow. Oh. Their mom worked at the <laughs> forest. Oh, no, that's true. Thank you. <laughs> See, I don't even. I, I don't know. I don't remember stuff like that. I'm like, whoa, cool, the forest. Oh, where thing. do you work at? The forest. She's. <laughs> she, I don't know what she does there, but she I had mean, a forest jacket. Looks like a fire in the background. Oh, yeah, it is. Prescribed burn and procedures and precaution. That's cool. Mm -hmm. You had to burn part of the forest sometimes. I make trees for a living. Open that door, Zach. <laughs> Just looking around the hallway first. Yeah, okay. I, I guess I'll go in order. You're right. Let's go in order. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, it closed <laughs> again. <laughs> Why is this one out? There we go. This light's out. Uh. Why are the... Whoa. What? Okay. <laughs> What's a lamp? Oh, it's like a bar. That's Aww. cool. Your dead uncle's behind the bar. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> stop, stop. He isn't. All right, all right. I got all the lights on <laughs> except for this one. That. All right, now let's begin our exploration. I like to turn on all the lights first before exploring yeah. this room. That purple book Wait, looks ominous. Yeah. I know yeah, it does. Book. Look at that artwork. Ashley, what wow. can you tell us about this artwork? It's a fucking mess. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me think of you know modern technology. I don't think I can pick up any of these books, but I can. Oh, I can always that open these. That purple one looks. There's something with that purple one. There is, but I can't do anything with it. What's it called? I can't. I can't get. Oh wait, into the white. While into the white. I don't know. It looks like into the wild. Yeah. Like wait once in a while, like. Look at all these records or these laser discs. <laughs> Probably records. I don't think they made this many laser discs. <laughs> Uh, the Dave Brubeck Quartet. That's a cool chair. Open folder, read assignment, reproductive system worksheet six. Below are two stories. The events are all out of oh order. Oh my god, please get a not. <laughs> hold read on, this. hold on, hold on, hold on. This is funny. Here's, okay, well, hold on. They're out of order. Uh, choose one of the two stories and rewrite it. Begin with the title. Okay, so what, what she rewrite? Oh she wrote, rewrote, 
the menstrual cycle a novella <laughs> <laughs> of course i gotta read this okay okay oh so so the ones for girls ones for guys whichever one you know more about you can write about uh the menstrual cycle it travels through the fallopian tube the ovary ovary releases the ovum about two weeks later since the lining of the uterus is not needed for a pregnancy it comes out through the vagina it is incredible how the female body knows how to prepare for pregnancy if the egg doesn't meet a sperm it dissolves while the ovum is developing the lining of the uterus is getting thick and soft another ovum starts to develop in one of the ovaries and the process begins again an ovum starts to develop everyone knows how guys do it it just like it forms mm -hmm. just hey, it out you know that's you're what bust. the left wing media wants you to think yeah so see okay so here we go this is her little sarcastic rewrite of the menstrual cycle a novella the early morning of september 1st 1937 or is that a nine? Probably seven. Or a nine. Essa Glatz stares out the window of the train as it travels from Vienna back to her home village of William in Poland. As the train rumbles along and the sun rises over the countryside, she can only think of her dear uh, Borislav, the boy she is engaged to wed. Meanwhile, deep within her guts, an ovum starts to develop. As this, oh as, this train, <laughs> <laughs> as this train approaches its destination, her heart races. The lining of the uterus is getting thick and soft. <laughs> I like this girl. <laughs> <laughs> as as, <laughs> as Essa steps off the train, her eyes dart quickly across the gathered crowd. Then there, her dear Boris, still in his baker's smock. He must have dropped his early morning duties at his father's shop to come meet her. Her heart skips a beat. The ovary releases the ovum. <laughs> <laughs> it travels through the fallopian tube. Flash. <laughs> Over the wheezing of the steam engines, a deep hum grows. It's coming from the sky. Dark shadows pass over the station. A whistling sound. Essa, her thoughts only a second faster than the bombs, reaches out toward her dear Boris across the crowd. Their eyes lock at the moment as the moment in the moment freezes. The flash and smoke uh, envelops envelopes envelops him almost instantly <laughs> envelopes. In, the, in the assault by german forces almost 75 percent of the people in her hometown are killed the rest including essa and for a time borislav huddle in a half destroyed church he is blind his legs are missing bandaged with torn bed sheets as his egg will not be meeting a sperm it dissolves <laughs> about two weeks later boris loses his grip on life Essa has given up her rations to keep Boris alive, but in the end, nothing can save him. Since the lining of the uterus is not needed for, for a pregnancy, it comes out through the vagina. Oh my god. <laughs> Essa vows to survive. She sets off to join the Polish resistance as a daring spy and saboteur. Was that how you say it? Saboteur? Mm -hmm. Another ovum starts to develop in one of the ovaries, and, sh and the process begins again. It's incredible how the female body knows how to prepare for pregnancy. <laughs> A plus, A plus. <laughs> Instead, it says C me. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. I would have given her like A plus plus. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, you got it. What is this textbook? I've been in tears. World history. This is like Egypt history. It's like <laughs> textbooks <laughs> always have dumb are. covers. Yeah, they really oh, you want to learn about history of the world? Here's a picture of a rock. <laughs> Rocks. All right. Well, we got. Uh, we're gonna finish up exploring this room, and uh, then you we're going. So to going any minute now. <laughs> this is a record player. Oh, cool. We're Ain't nothing but a hound dog. I wish I could. No, it's not that song. I wish I could. I wish I could uh, change the speed and play it like. Oh, I always knew that someday. Oh, it's a classy <laughs> song. I feel like I should grab a drink to this song. Is it like Mad Men now? Soda can. Soda. Soda can. I like Dr. Jitters. What is orange? Dr. Jitters. Orange. 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 <laughs> ah, here we go. Who's ready? Can I pour this into something? Fantastic. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it since you can. <laughs> Darn it. I want to. Okay, let's move on. Oh, wait, wait. We are moving on. I'm right here looking at this. We don't mixer? have to see if we can smash all the bottles. Oh, I like how Zach just make it on purpose. He's going, oh, I'm going to do dumb. I'm going to do a dumb thing. Oh, wait. Here's actually something that's see, worth reading. He, do he does this even if he's not filming. <laughs> <laughs> this is authentic Zach playthrough <laughs> of life. <laughs> that's not necessarily true. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? 
He's all going here. No, oh, she's not lying. cleaning the dishes. I'm throwing them out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seriously. Yeah. What does it say? Read letter. Dear Mr. Greenbrier, I write to inform you that unfortunately Mercury Books will be unable to publish your follow-up to The Accidental Pariah. Despite the low sales of The Accidental Savior, we went ahead with publication of the second book in hopes of the John Russell series catching on. However, sales of the second book have in fact been lower than those of the first. And so, of course, that's always how it is. And so our stewardship of the series must end here. It has been a pleasure working uh, as your publisher, and we wish you and John Russell the best in your future endeavors. Oh, Donald this, Fripps. Oh, this this happened sad. like almost 20 years ago. Oh, this is sad. You might, you might want to take a drink. I wish I could take a drink in this game, but I can't. Her dad seems like, uh, like he's still working. Okay, so it's it's 94, 95. He's still working on the JFK thing. Like his office, he seems like he might have been crazy as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think he like I think he got really depressed about not being able to. I don't know. Become a, There's also a lot of liquor writer. bottles everywhere. Well, this is just his like little bar area. That's pretty cool. You can listen to records. Oh yeah, because yeah. he had to listen to records and stuff. I'm gonna turn this off. This song is annoying me. There we go. Apparently, okay. he had a whole go staff the in door. The house dedicated to him. Go is, the door. Is this a closet or is this like go a real the thing? Door. It's just a closet. Just, just. Open oh, records. More that. records. There's a note on that. There was a note there's on a that. There's a ghost. What? What? No, there's not. <laughs> there's more records. There's more books of his. The Accidental Savior. Look for porn. I am. Believe me. <laughs> Read letter. Samantha, please give this to your mother. Janice, thank you for having Danny over to your new home. He has missed having his friend Samantha in the neighborhood very much. Oh, yeah. They got fucked. <laughs> Danny uh, asked if he game. could <laughs> lend Samantha his Nintendo Street Fighting tape. What? And I gave my permission. <laughs> he needs to spend less time with those games anyway. No hurry returning it. That's it's not like the, it's not like there's gonna be a whole video game industry in a couple years. It sounds like their parents want them to bang and not play games. Yeah, yeah. seriously. <laughs> Let Samantha know that he is welcome back to our house to visit any time. Wink, wink. Guys, guys. Oh, wait, journal, you journal. Place, you're Danny, get your head out of that video game and into Sam. Like your default friend. Wait, 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 here we go. And Daniel only got weirder over the years, so moving away has been a good excuse to like not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. <laughs> Maybe I'll give him a call. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. That's like that was my hope in life. Like, I yeah, have all I was friends games. with the people down the street because they had Nintendo sixty four. Same. Oh, I, I was thinking your your hope is like oh I hope I have really. They cool had it, and then cool I was like, can man, I can't house. wait to fucking get one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, you had to have sex with all your friends to go over and play these. <laughs> I remember those days. Yeah. <laughs> Do you? My friend Eddie had a PlayStation um, 2. He was the first one. And you had to suck his dick? Yep. To play no. it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> All right. Well, guys, uh, we've explored a few more rooms in the game Gone Home. Uh, this is apparently a two-hour game, so it should only be two more episodes. So, uh, <laughs> so come back next time uh, for some more Gone Home. Are you Home. serious? <laughs> What? <laughs> of course I'm serious. What do you mean? We're we uh, we gotta explore the rest of this. There's a whole other side of the house apparently, and an upstairs. <laughs> but uh, this is a great game so far. I'm really enjoying it. I might get more value out of it than the average player. Uh, come I back think you might. <laughs> come back next time uh, for some more Gone Home. Thanks everyone joining me. Uh, Ashley Mack, Jesse Yoda, Jeffro Bro. Uh, Jordan, aka Air Jordan, aka uh, Xanator TV. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. We will explore the rest of this hallway, and uh, we'll also <laughs> we'll also uh, maybe in the next the episode we'll get to the other side of the house. Maybe. I mean, I don't know where this door leads, but we might. Uh, you can go upstairs. Well, but the other side's locked. I mean, yeah, I might have to go upstairs because if you look, the other side's locked here. Uh, I don't see any other doorways to go except for this one. Who knows what's over here? But we probably do gotta go upstairs. And uh, so this is fun. This is a fun game in the 90s. It's cool. I'm loving it. See you guys next time for more. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching and check out these other awesome videos. See you next time.